Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dustin and on this channel we talk about things all the way from vlogging to tech reviews. That's right guys, the title is correct. I sold my Canon EOS M50. Now before you guys freak out, I just want you guys to know that I've had two Canon EOS M50s for the past six months now. And to be honest, I didn't really use the other. I used this one pretty much the entire time. And then I used my other Canon EOS M to do all my B-roll footage for extra shots. I did want to explain one of the reasons why I decided to sell the Canon EOS M50. And the major reason was because I wanted to buy a newer camera. So if you didn't see the last video, I was actually really disappointed in the Canon EOS R. I know a lot of you had a lot of things to say regarding my faults with the camera I think it probably is a great camera and I think there's a lot of things you can do with it I just feel like in the market right now for the price that I'm paying it's not something that I can actually feel good about purchasing with what little it gives in my opinion with what I record on my channel the Canon EOS M50 is about 90% of what I need the other 10% however which in part is something that I've been working on getting better at is shooting 4K cinematic footage now that brings me to my next topic which is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera let me go ahead and read a couple of the specs off the top of my phone and explain to you why I decided to purchase this camera. So the Blackmagic Pocket 4K comes with a fourth, micro four third size HDR sensor, records DCI 4K up to 60 frames per second, dual native ISO to 2500, 25,600, five inch touchscreen display, active micro four thirds lens mount, which means it has autofocus ability, records up to 120 frames per second windowed HD, also supports two uh, memory card slots. One of them is the CFast 2.0 and the SD UHS-2 card slots. It also allows external recording via USB Type-C, which means you can connect a USB-C connector to an, uh, say an SSD drive or an M.2 drive and automatically record to that drive. And it also has 13 stops of dynamic range, 3D LUT support, and includes DaVinci Resolve Studio license. Now don't get too upset with me I'm not getting rid of my Canon EOS M50 gear and I will continually use this camera for my vlogging and most likely my sit down camera shots. Even my B-roll shots, I will be using this camera. Keep that in mind. I love this camera so much and I will never ever get rid of it until a better version of it comes along. <laughs> the main reason that I wanted to get the Blackmagic Pocket 4K was I am so, so hesitant but I am slowly building my way up to getting better at 4K cinematic footage. I've been having a lot of fun lately with the Canon EOS M50 and it's actually motivated me to want to have better 4K footage. By having even the slightest 4K footage on this camera, even though it's not great, and I usually shoot it without the image stabilization as well as the autofocus is always manual, it's actually pretty good and I'm uh, very excited with the way that 4K is coming out recently. So with the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, the biggest thing that I like about it is the dynamic range. With this camera, when things go a little bit dark, things get really grainy. You see little specks and you can probably see them in the screens here and over here. The little black spots, you can see little teeny dots and it's just drives me nuts. Really, that's not such a big deal, but I do want to get something that's capable of shooting better quality, um, sharp video. The Canon EOS M50 does a great job at it, but there are a few things that you need in order to get some really good high quality footage out of it. Not to mention the Blackmagic Pocket 4K is only $1,295 right now out of the box. Compared to the Canon EOS R and other cameras in that price range, um, I think it's probably the best cinema camera out there for that price. In terms of photography, I'll definitely be using the Canon EOS M50 in any way I can because this camera is amazing for stills and I think it's going to work great regardless. I've been using this for vlogs and pictures every single day of this week and I've actually been working with a software company right now uh, testing out their editing software uh, that I did want to show you guys pretty soon here in the future. So don't worry. I still will have this camera. The next big thing for me really is just getting better at my video production skills and the, and the Blackmagic Pocket 4K just really looks good to me. It's got a really nice sleek carbon fiber reinforced body. Uh, it's got all the things I've been looking for. It's got a very, very simplistic system. Uh, the color science is probably the most positive thing about it uh, compared to a lot of the other cameras out there like the Sony's and the GH5S by Panasonic. 
The color science is comparable, uh, and some might even say better than the Canon cameras, and that for me is one of the biggest deal breakers when purchasing a camera. And it's the biggest reason why I have yet to switch over to any other camera company. And that's probably why I decided to try this Blackmagic Pocket out to see how exactly it looks. Unfortunately, right now, the pre-order weight is um, undetermined, I guess you'd say. As for any other Blackmagic design released, there has been a slight delay. It was originally slated to be released on September 6th, but was actually pushed back to October. Some people did get in October. However, a lot of us did not. I actually ordered it from B&H Photos. Decided to cancel that order and purchase it, for, purchased it from somebody local instead. So hopefully I have it here in the next couple of weeks to test out and get some really good footage for you guys. So before I have it, uh, definitely feel free to ask any questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I uh, just wanna let you guys know that I will be doing my best to get more videos out very soon. Uh, I know I've been slacking lately and I hope you guys are bearing with me. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this is somewhat informative. Uh, I just wanna let you guys know the progress of the channel and what exactly my next moves are as a vlogger slash filmmaker slash tech reviewer slash um, everything else. That's it. Thank you so much guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.